Today on Toy Shoes, we're going to shred, baby shred. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today, very excited. What a week, right? Lots of great toys hitting this year. This one in particular, near and dear, we're checking out the brand new Target Store exclusive Cartoon Ninja Turtles Mondo Gecko, which... That looks awesome. Look at that artwork right there. Side of the box looks like an old FHE VHS. NECA does such a great job recreating that. This is volume five already. On the back side of the box, we get a nice piece of artwork featuring Kerma and Mondo Gecko, who, as far as I know, never met. However, it's a bit of a two-pack in some sense. And yes, you can screen grab this if you want to find out a little bit more about the cartoon versions of these characters, most specifically Mondo Gecko, let's just say. But yeah, I do like that artwork. It's really nicely done. Open it up. It's all Velcroed on the front. You get to see a nice photo of Mondo Gecko. And inside, all his accessories, the figure, Kerma, all that good stuff. Yeah, what I'm talking about. And then on the bottom of the box, everyone involved with the makings of this particular figure. So thank you very much to that. And here's the barcode. If you want to try and find it in your local Target store, they are starting to hit stores now, now in regards to my knowledge of Mondo Gecko, I'll tell you all day, it was originally the Playmates Toys Mondo Gecko figure, but it was the Archie Ninja Turtle Adventures that I really knew the character. He started off as a rock singer hiding out in Shredder's old hideout. He had a pet gecko, and then as a result, Mutagen hit him, and that's why he turns into Mondo Gecko. But it wasn't until a trip to Kmart one day, yeah, Kmart used to have comic books, <laughs> in the magazine aisle, or at least mine did, that the most horrifying, most traumatizing event for as far as me and Ninja Turtles went, well, Mondo Gecko got not just killed, but annihilated. And I'm talking like machine gun fire, blown up. But yeah, and reading this comic way back when, to kill all the mutanimals, Ray Filet, all my action figures were dead. <laughs> horrifying. Yeah, they were all up in heaven, though. Each of them had a little... Halo, of course, this is the way to make you feel better. And if you have time, search on the internet, you could check out all of them burning in hell. That was the big poster foldout of the issue. <laughs> not even, not even joking. Thanks, Archie Comics. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target Store exclusive cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shred Mondo Shred Mondo Gecko action figure by NECA Toys. And also, there's a Kerma. And of course, here's everything taken out of the box. And in true typical NECA fashion, you get a lot of stuff in there. Now, this is technically being counted as a two-pack, but it's not expensive as the usual two-packs. You're getting a deluxe figure with an added figure. We'll just say that. But you do get a lot of accessories, like these gloved and ungloved extra hands for Mondo. Weapon-holding hands. And you got the money sack from his introductory episode from the cartoon which looks good you do get one of these dirk savages compliance cuffs from his episode simply opens and closes you could put it around the character's wrists and you do get mondo gecko as a little baby gecko or if you wanted to go the archie route it's mondo's pet gecko so there you go works in both senses you do get a weapon we've got a dozen times with foot soldiers you get the bomb the military convoy bomb that Mr. X was after in that particular episode. Looks good. You got wires for days. Kind of got a little paint rub on the red right there. But other than that, yeah, it's fun to have very show-specific accessories. I love that they do that. But best of all, you get Mondo Gecko's motorized skateboard as seen in the cartoon. Nice wheels. They'll spin. You got yellow right there on each of the wheels. And on the top... You got some flames going on, like the old toy right there. You got one peg, so you can clip them on there. You got the exhaust. It's all painted nicely. It's done well. I do have a little elements of kind of paint fleck here and there from the gray. But in all sense, yeah, it does look really nice. And it's a nice board, too. Now, with the tail, I'm just going to tell you all day, heat this up. Go that route, because right there, you got to attach it. That's what worked best for me. Just put it in a nice hot bath. Two seconds later, and while you're at it... Most of the recent new NECA Toys figures have been pretty good, but heat up some of the joints, specifically in the feet and this one arm right here. I got it going after a while, but it's better than breaking them, right? Nicely done. Gorgeous paint. Peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Everything is bright and colorful. Two-toned, cell-shaded lines. 
Looks great. This is an awesome looking Mondo Gecko. It really is the universal look for Mondo Gecko. I love his sharp <laughs> knee pads right there. His face is great. Look at that. He's just like, whatever. Just skater bro, right? The articulation is really nice in the head and the neck. So you get double joints up the head and then you can spin it at the neck as well. This is cool. You can achieve multiple expressions because now his jaw is articulated. One thing I will say I would have loved to have had was like a tongue attachment. Because in the episode he does throw his tongue out. I'm just saying. He's got some nice articulation in the arms. He will have a hidden bicep. I really like how they did that. It's cut right where his shirt is tattered. So that is really cool. Single jointed elbows on him. He will spin at the elbow. He's got wrist articulation, spins, rocks. He does have a semblance of an ab crunch. Mostly he spins at the upper diaphragm. He will go forward a little bit, back a little bit, not too much. He'll spin at the waist, which works really well. Right here, this is kind of like old fashioned playmates right here. I like the way that, that it looks, it feels. It's like the legs of the original Mondo Gecko. And they fix that effect from like the Rat King, where if you push up too high on the rubber crotch piece, it stresses, no problems there. Again, hidden articulation at the thigh, double jointed knees, heat them up, go easy on them. Also the feet, he will rock and they will go up and down, but again, I had to heat mine up. So I just don't want anybody snapping anything, breaking it. Go easy on these figures. We know how this goes by now. You got some tail articulation. Once you hook it on, it'll swivel, it'll rock, really nice. So it's just really fun to have this new Mondo Gecko figure. And with Kerma, let's not forget about him. He looks good. He's not gonna have a lot of articulation. He just looks good standing there. And that's really what the character does best. But he's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. He's got really nice paint every which way. He's got that cell shaded two-tone. So he'll have some articulation basically at the shoulders. He will spin at the wrists on both sides. So you just kind of get in there. He's a little tight in the wrist, so just kind of go easy on him. He does have articulation at the head. It'll rock really nicely, move down to the legs. They'll simply just spin. So he really does have minimal articulation, but he looks good standing there, and that's really all you need from a character like this, especially when you put him up against the turtles. He scales well. That's what I appreciate. And I mean, plus, he looks good next to Ground Chuck and Dirt Bag, right? Until NECA Toys comes out with their versions. But really, Mondo Gecko standing there with his board in hand. He's got his gecko on his shoulder, or you can use him as the baby, whatever you want to do. Mixing with the turtles and Mr. X grabs him from the goo. But this is Mondo Gecko. I'm going Archie on this, <laughs> that's for sure. He just looks so good. Just even just standing there. That's Mondo Gecko right there. But you put him on the board, you got the money sack in hand, instantly transforms into the cartoon version of him. This thing looks rad. Every angle, all the bright colors, all the cell shaded, everything works to achieve exactly what you see in the cartoon. When I have these types of cartoon accurate turtles or just characters of any brand, that's what I love. And he rolls on the skateboard, you can throw him around, <laughs> wouldn't go too far. But you know what I mean, Michelangelo, he can go on the board too, just like at the end of the episode, suddenly there's two of those boards, whatever. As far as the mutant compliance cuff, you could put it on both arms. I did find that it fits better on the ungloved arm and it just, it looks cool for what it is. Perfectly matches the cartoon. And Michelangelo can wear it well. So can Leonardo. So if you wanted to put him on the turtles, you can do that. Also the bomb, you can have the characters holding it. There's not much you could really do for the bomb. You could put it on a skateboard or something like that. But for what it is, yeah, totally works. The gun, you know, the big gun that Mondo just randomly pulls out, right? Aim it at Michelangelo but they're still friends at the end of the day. So these two characters really go together well, and it's so cool to have them on the shelf. But the big kicker is, of course, to see the original Playmates Mondo Gecko versus this new NECA Toys one. Now, technically, yeah, you could say this is the cartoon one. I always think the Playmates are based on them. I even put a Pizza Point sticker on his back, you know, for his shirt. The skateboard's great, I love it. So yes, they kind of drew from the old Playmates toys for the cartoon. The comics kind of used the toys. It it's all kind of meshes together really cool. But I'll tell you one thing, with all these new figures, I'm starting to run out of room here. So I gotta make some adjustments here and there, maybe get a new glass case. I don't know. But in either sense, all these look so great together. This is an awesome figure. Absolutely love it. 
some nitpicks, just heat them up. Just go easy on them. Other than that, this is a great set. Great addition to your cartoon TMNT figure lineup. He goes well with all the turtles to have Mondo Gecko, one of my favorite characters, Mutanimals wise, Archie's comics wise, all that great stuff that I know Mondo from when he's alive <laughs> is captured so perfectly here. Kerma, I'm glad that he's there. It's, I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite character ever. Put him there, take him out, doesn't matter, but he is done nicely. He's got nice articulation for just being that simplistic type of figure and sometimes that's all you need. All the focus was on Mondo here, his skateboard, the weapons, the accessories, it all fits. It's all from the cartoon. It's amazing. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Mondo Gecko. Will you be grabbing him? Have you already gotten him? And what do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Mondo Gecko. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember now if NECA could only make us a candy fine figure, well that would just be super fine. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.